The short bow is the best weapon in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, and I'll show you the build that makes this possible. It has the fastest firing rate and the most agility compared to the other Na'vi weapons. And there is some upgrades that will add an increase of 135% damage, which is insane. It allows you to deal with the RDA AMPs with ease, and it will not alert the RDA as quickly as the shotgun does. So if you want to remain undetected, then this is the weapon for you. Firstly, I'll go over the build so you can be doing the most damage possible, and then I'll cover more tips on how to master the short bow and what it's really good at. So the short bow I'm using is Solex Lightning Short Bow. It's an exquisite bow, but you don't need to use this one specifically. There are a few others that you can craft that actually have slightly higher damage. I bought it from Solek at the Resistance HQ. Now the mods is the most important part. This is where we can start to add massive damage increases. For the grip, I'm using Solex Nimble Grip. This grip adds a plus 20% damage multiplier on our next attack after sliding, which is very noticeable. With the short bow being so agile, it makes sliding in before attacking the RDA easy and very beneficial. I always slide before firing at AMPs as it gives that massive damage bonus. Marines will die without needing to use the slide. You can buy this mod from Solek. For the string mod, I'm using Heikinax Whistling String as it gives a plus 15% damage increase on additional hits against the same target with a maximum of 3 stacks for 45% on the third arrow. This works perfectly with the short bow's 3 rapid fire arrows and then will reset the damage multiplier when you load your next three arrows. It's rare for your three arrows not to take a full health AMP down due to that massive increase on each arrow stacking. You can get this string mod from Hey Keenak at the Hollows. The weapon and mods don't need to be crafted so they're easier for you to get. Now the last part of the build is the skills you need to add even more damage multipliers. There is four main skills you should get and they are Lethal Stalker, Damage Bonus Weak Spot, Tactical Awareness, and Short Bow Expert. The Lethal Stalker adds 25% damage after killing an unaware enemy. Damage Bonus Weak Spot adds 25% damage to weak spots. Tactical Awareness adds 15% damage to tagged enemies. And Short Bow Expert adds 25% damage whilst moving. Altogether, these skills add a 90% damage increase and another 45% from your short bow. That is some insane damage multipliers on top of your base 126 damage stats for the short bow. This is why I believe the short bow is the most powerful weapon for stealth. If you always sit back and snipe with the heavy bow like I did, try the short bow out. I didn't think I'd be enjoying it as much as I do and I think you'll really enjoy it too. Now the best ways to use the short bow. It has shock special ammo that absolutely destroys AMPs and aircraft. So if you want to see some fireworks, switch to them. These also work great whilst you're mounted on your Ikran. The short bow is a great weapon in general to use whilst mounted because you don't get as much time to line up your shots. With the short bow however, you can easily rapid fire and take the aircraft down. It gives you the most fun aerial dogfights with the RDA that you can get. The short bow's name implies that it's only for close distance, and it does excel in close ranges, but it has a much further range than you may expect. As you just saw, I took down the aircraft at a long distance with the short bow. Its accuracy does however suffer at extreme ranges. One of the biggest bonuses of the short bow is that it's really powerful at killing ferals and other really quick and aggressive animals. These animals can be really difficult to kill at times because they are so fast and don't give you much time to draw back the bigger bows or spear thrower. However, the short bow can easily put them down and return them to Awa. Plus the bow is very forgiving if you miss shots. And the short bow won't spoil animals if you hunt with it. Whereas the shotgun has great stopping power but ruins all gatherable items. A lot of people don't realise you can have two weapons of your choosing on a quick swap with a button press. I use the short bow and heavy bow as a quick swap so I can instantly switch between the weapons and therefore I can cover all fighting ranges, whether it's long or short distance. It's easy to set up, just bring up your weapon wheel and select the short bow. Then bring it up again but select the heavy bow. Now you can instantly switch between the two by pressing triangle on the PlayStation. I'm not sure what the button is on the other platforms. 
This makes combat so much easier so you don't have to waste all your time in the weapon wheel. And it works for all weapons of your choosing. Let's go in hot. And that's how you master the short bow and have a great loadout for most situations. Thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please give me a like. My next video will be on the Ikran Mastery Guide, so I hope to see you there. Bye. What that that stun ammo? Oh yeah.